<laughs> yes, Give me for a loop there. Okay, all right. So well, let's go back. Number right. ten. Are we going Number to... ten. Okay. First thing I would suggest you do starting today: start detoxifying your body. You know, on a daily basis and on a monthly basis. You know, things like you did, Chris. You know, like your liver flush. You do that. You wouldn't want to do that constantly. You do that periodically, once a quarter. You know, once every year. You can do the big flushes like that. Uh, there's lots of protocols you can look up for, you know, liver flushes, whole body flushes. But what I would start doing today is detoxifying starting tonight. You can start taking something like bentonite clay. And I think we've spoken about this before. It literally tastes like chalk or dirt. And you can buy it at health food stores. <laughs> mm, <laughs> I won't, I won't lie health is so yummy. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. It tastes like dirt. But at nighttime, you can take a tablespoon of bentonite clay, and there's different varieties of this, and it's very cheap. Put it in some purified water, swirl it around, drink it. And it'll taste like dirt water, but <laughs> it actually will bind to like heavy metals and toxins and stuff in your body and get them out of your body. Um, wheatgrass is a real good one. You can take freshly squeezed wheatgrass. Um, you can go to any kind of smoothie store, and they'll give you freshly squeezed. Or you can go to the health food store and buy... Uh, powdered or pills. You could also do like chlorella pills, uh, cilantro. You can start eating a lot of. Um, I've been starting to eat a lot of homemade tortilla soup and get a lot of fresh organic cilantro and you chop it up and throw it in there. You can mm. do it that way. Or I'm sure you can find like detox all in one supplements where it has chlorella, cilantro, wheatgrass all in one. That's probably the best. Um, okay, so that's what happens. So this is an everyday thing. Yeah, the, yeah, the cilantro, wheatgrass, chlorella, greens, that's a daily thing. The bentonite clay is a nightly thing right before you go to bed. Okay. You know, and then every once in a while do a liver flush, do a whole body cleanse, things like that. Those are a little more, uh, what would you call it, Chris? You did one. <laughs> <laughs> extreme. A more, yeah, a little more extreme, a little more harsh. You got to buy. More of a commitment, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, your life that's... flows around your flow while you're doing that. <laughs> that's what happens. Today yes, you can punch in any time here. Yeah, yeah. His, uh, I highly recommend it on the once a quarter uh, <laughs> on the clones. If it goes to uh, any much any further than that, for me, it gets the when I finally do the cleanse, it's a lot more harsh. So if you kind of keep up on it, uh, it's it's a maintenance system. It's like changing the oil in the car. Yeah. yeah. And when you do it right, you guys, I mean, when you, because I have never done, I'll, I'll be honest, I've never done like a liver cleanse. I do the smaller cleanses. How do you feel within the first two or three days when you start and you really do it? Oh, for me personally, the first two days are toxic. Um, <laughs> yeah. Everything that has been sitting dormant um, comes through the gates, so I feel it a little <laughs> bit more. And then, uh, yeah, and then after that, there's a lot more energy and things get better. So, cool. uh, yeah, that's exactly true. Basically, at least in the liver's case, you re-experience every drug you did in the '80s. <laughs> it's all back in your blood system, and you have to just kind of like hold. And you really are kind of hungover or whatever. There's like a hangover feeling for like uh, the first day. But the second time I did the liver detox, I actually looked for that and was grateful. It made it all worthwhile to know that you were actually doing something. <laughs> so no was pain. the second one easier for you, Christopher, than the first one? The yes, one? absolutely. Yeah. The first okay. one was after like three hospitalizations, and so, oh my God, I actually could not stand. I was okay. literally uh, stoned on uh, pharmaceuticals that were coming out, yeah. uh, and that's yeah. when I knew this is real. There's nothing fake about this. It really, my, my liver is squeezing out like a sponge. The second time was a lot easier, and I totally agree with you, Janae. I think it's like something that... You know, no wonder it's built into religions. I think fasting and stuff is built into religions for these kind of relig for these kind of religious these reasons, because the yeah. to for, for the people to, to to cleanse or to fast every so often for the health of the body. You know, because you really do kind of need oh. it religious. And plus, I guarantee in that first couple of days you will have a spiritual experience. <laughs> <laughs> it will be on the toilet. It will be on the you toilet. You will be on the throne. <laughs> you will approach the throne with boldness, I guarantee it. It's so <laughs> That's All funny. Right. Okay, so let's...